here we can see a witch that's constantly walking back and forth between the barrel on the right and the cauldron and brewing stand on the left. And witches normally don't do that. And this is done by with a clever contraption below, which is actually tracking pigs. And now we might ask, how can you make a witch track a pig? And how do we give the witch these commands? We can also use the ability to give the witches commands to also get potions from the witches. So we can get splash potions of healing and regeneration, but also the normal potions like harming, poison, and slowness. Let's take a look. So she's tracking this pig on the left and this pig on the right, and is constantly switching targets between them. We achieved that, that by using a Vindicator Captain. So this uh, Vindicator is a Wave Captain from a raid. And um, being a Wave Captain and a Patrol Captain is basically the same thing in the game. So Patrol Captains have this AI goal of telling the whole patrol uh, to attack a certain mob. And the detail of that is, so the AI goal will start to run and uh, the current goal of the Vindicator is taken, so the Vindicator is currently tracking the pig. It will tell all other raiders in an 8 block radius to attack the same pig. When the witch is standing over here, she's actually still in the 8 block radius of this Vindicator captain. And I also renamed the Vindicator to Johnny. That is a special quirk in the code. When a Vindicator is called Johnny, he will attack almost anything. The only exception is other illagers. Which means you can also tell witches, which are not illagers, but raiders, to attack itself. So we can put a witch here, block the vision to the pig for the witch, and then the witch will actually attack itself by throwing potions at herself. And from the potion throwing location, with somewhere around here, to the eye height, which is the red line, that's perfectly upwards, and that is why the witch is throwing the potions perfectly upwards. You might have noticed those are region potions, and that is because witches that throw potions at other raiders will always throw region unless the target mob has a health that is up to two hearts only, then they will throw health potions. And that is the trick we use to also get potions from the witches and not only checking them. So I have a setup over here. There are a few witches inside chest boats. And there's a Vindicator Wave Captain over here that can see the Ravager. And the Ravager is a raider, but not an Illager. So um, the Vindicator is able to attack him and track him. And then we, he will tell the witches to also attack him. But the witches will see him, see the Ravager as a fellow raider and therefore will only throw regeneration or healing potions. In this case now the Ravager has a health of up to two hearts and they will throw health potions. And we use some bubble columns here to transport all the health potions away into, for example, the chamber down here, where we can heal anything we want. Uh, for example, if you put a Ravager here, the Ravager is taking damage because he's attacking himself, because the Vindicator is trying to attack the Ravager. And the Vindicator is also telling nearby radar mobs within 8 blocks radius to attack the Ravager. And the Ravager is a radar mob and therefore the Ravager will attack itself. The healing potions prevent him from dying. But if we, for example, heal the Ravager a bit, then the witches will start throwing regeneration potions instead. And now the Ravager won't be healed as quickly and eventually die. And if we want to stop the contraption, we could close the trapdoor here. Then the Vindicator can no longer see the Ravager, eventually stop attacking it, as you can see. And then the Witches will also use uh, the target and stop throwing potions. Then we can start it again, but we could also just replace the Ravager with, I don't know, a zombie or the wrong command block with a zombie. and. Since the zombie is not a raider, the witches will attack it normally, so that means throwing harming potions and poison potions. In this case, they're throwing harming potions because the zombie is at low health, but if we heal the zombie, then they will throw poison potions. And if we 
don't want poison, but slowness potions, we would have to move the zombie more than eight blocks away from the witches. And then we would get slowness potions. Let's have a look at the witches um, shooting potions code. So when the witch is currently not drinking potions or otherwise busy, she's able to throw potions and the potion selection up over here and down here the potion is actually spawned in the world. So when the current target that she wants to shoot at is a raider, it will check whether the health of the target is up to two hearts and um, then it's a healing potion otherwise it's a regeneration and then it will lose the target as well. That is why we also need the Vindicator to constantly remind the witch of the target. Otherwise, if it's, if it's not a raider, so it's a real target, then it will select just the other potion types. So if the distance to the other mob in the horizontal directions is more than eight blocks, then it will throw the slowness potion unless the target already has a slowness effect. If the health is high enough, it will throw a poison if it doesn't have poison already. If the distance is low, whether there's a random chance, it will also try to throw weakness potion. 